Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. We are going to be starting another quilt tutorial. We are going to make a strip quilt. I happen to have a lot of pieces from when I cut yardage that, you know, are just narrow strips like that and they go from salvage to salvage. I'm going to put them to good use. I am actually going to be pulling strips that might not be the full length of salvage to salvage, but I want to let you guys know that this is a quilt that you can certainly make if you have a lot of, you know, pieces like this. Like if you buy yardage and you have some strips left over, you can put them together and we'll make a strip quilt. I have some where other parts were cut off, so I'm going to try to make a quilt that is about 36 inches before it's ragged. I'm, I'm thinking I will be ragging the edges because I just love to do that so much. So as long as my strips are maybe 36 to 38 inches long, I'm good with that. I only want to make a little one. But you feel free to make the full width of your strips and as long as you want. I have quite a few strips here, quite a few different prints. Some are very narrow, some are wide. Like look, I even have this little guy. I'm going to actually use that. And some of the ones that are wide I can cut and then I can, you know, add the color in two different spots. You're only going to need, for my size quilt, since I'm going for like 36 by 36, I'm only going to need a yard of fabric tall wise, so it won't probably take too many strips. Let me just press some of these and trim some and then I'll be back and I'll show you what I ended up with. And I did want to show you, this one is very uneven. I'm just folding it. Right now it's folded salvage to salvage. I'm just folding it over again and I'm just going to make two straight edges on it. Scraps for my crumb pile. So I just made sure that it was straight on both sides and I don't care how wide it is because we don't have to measure. We're just going to sew a bunch of strips together until we have it big enough. So there's one. I'm going to continue like this. The other thing that I was going to mention is that since I'm cutting my strips 38 wide because I don't want to be sewing more than I have to, plus I don't want, you know, to end up with like cut up strip sets, I'm just going ahead and trimming each strip to about 38 inches wide and then I'll be able to keep all these nice little beautiful scraps. They won't be sewn together. I think I have enough trimmed. If I don't, I will add a few more. I decided to not use this piece because it's cut really crooked and once I would just straighten it out, I would lose a lot of the width. So I'm just putting that in my crumb stash. So I have various widths of strips and mine are all approximately 38 inches long. Approximately. And I'm not really going to pay much attention as to how I put these together, but I will lay them out, see about how much I have. There will be seam allowances and I'm going to start sewing them together. So just hang on for one minute. And I have an idea for this, but I'm not even going to tell you until the end. So I am going to be calling this a scrappy strip quilt because we are making a strip quilt. We're using a strip set, but I might do something to it at the end. <laughs> you never know with me. I, I might change my mind a shitload of times and that's just the way it is with me. We have to go with the flow. So I'm just going to start sewing these strips together. I like this so far and I did trim them almost all to 38 so I am going to do what everyone suggests and it does really help. I will sew two strips in this direction and then the next one in that direction and then the next one in that direction. Because if you sew with your machine with the foot always pushing down on the fabric in the same direction, it bows. It really does. I've seen it happen because it always happened to me and I didn't ever think to go in opposite directions. So I will be doing that. Let me start putting these together and I'll show you what I've got. I should have mentioned that I'm not taking you to the machine tonight for the sake of editing time. 
but I just uh, put them together and I sewed with about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. It doesn't even matter because the strips are all different widths anyway, so you can't go wrong with this one. I just always use the edge of my foot as my guide. And I do go ahead and press open each time because I just find that it's easier to do it that way. Now I have options. I can put these two together and then these two together and then those two together. And you know what? I'm going to do that. And I did want to mention that I watched a quilter. She owns a fabric store, gigantic. She just always sews her strips all in the same direction. She says she doesn't even care if it bows. It does iron back out flat if you want. So it's all up to you. Again, there are no rules. But I think just for the sake of not having to have so much at the machine at once, I'm just going to do two strips at a time. So I will do these two now. Down one side. Sewing two strips at a time is by far the way to go because what I did is, can you guess, can you guess? I sent two strips through, sewed them, and then I immediately just continued on with the next two, so I just did chain piecing. I just did two, and then two more, and then two more, and in no time I have all these pairs of strips sewn. So now I'm going to actually end this video here for tonight because I need to keep it short. I'm going to press these open and then I am going to lay them out and connect them. And then we'll come back, we'll have the quilt top almost done. This is a very quick way to make a quilt top. So let me get that step done, then we will trim and I will see about doing the um, scrappy part of it. This this is already kind of scrappy, but I have another idea. So do come back, subscribe, so you don't miss the rest of this series and all the other crazy stuff I put on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!